Hello everyone, uh, my name is Soham Sitar, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Horizon Master. Um, so, in this video, I'm only going to be covering how to use Horizon Master in certain parameters, and you'll find them out when I start. So, in this, uh, for this video, you'll need two things. You'll need Horizon Master itself, and it is, uh, it does require administrative privileges and it'll show you this warning just click OK make sure you know what you're doing um, and I'm not responsible if you overclock this too much also you'll need something called CPU Z and uh, let's, I'm gonna run it as an and CPU uh, Z allows you to see um, your processors clock speed in real time which is right here and right now it is 3.8 and um, so what you will first want to do is when you open up Ryzen Master it'll be under current and so now you can see like oh how much your CPU is using um, uh, what is your s CPU clock speed and you can see your CPU voltage um, your graphics clock speed and you can see all the other things one thing you have to keep in mind is that when it says memory clock once uh, 1,600 um, megahertz, it means 3,200 because what what it does is it shows you half of what it actually is. So it says current profiles read only. Um, let's just go on to another one. Uh, let's take profile one and let's uncheck everything. Uh, except the cores disabled and speed now to overclock all you have to do is um increase this however much you want so oh that's way too high um let's say if i want to put it at 3.750 hertz uh megahertz if you do that then um all the other cores will be set to that and then you can go ahead and click apply after that, it'll say profile one, apply su success, and you can open up your CPU Z, and it will say uh, um, the core speed. Now, don't expect your core speed to be exact, uh, because it's always relative, and you can see that it's changing, and we can also change it to something lower, such as 3.6, which is the processor's base clock. If, you, if we click apply, then we can see that it gets moved down to 3.6 3 gigahertz. Thanks guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you have a question, leave it in the comment section below. If you want me to do any other type of video or kind of with going over something, then um, also leave that in the comment section below.